hello beautiful family welcome to another video it's your favorite recipe plug and i am back today with another delicious recipe for you guys this is the creamier soya pasta recipe you're going to find on the internet it's less complicated and insanely delicious if you're interested please keep watching As usual I'm going to begin by showing you guys the ingredients which is I'm going to be using some pen pasta for this recipe some tomatoes some chopped sausages this is chicken sausage of course I have my soya here this is fresh soya that has just been chopped I also have some parsley I have some chopped onions some coconut milk in the can I also have some mozzarella cheese I have some white pepper and kankang. This kankang is what we normally call soya spice. I also have some garlic, some salt and seasoning cubes, some vegetable oil and that's all I'm going to be using for this recipe guys. Now all the ingredients are going to be left in the description box so please be sure to check that. So I'm going to begin by adding some water into a pot, bringing it to a boil, adding some salt, adding some drops of oil and then I'm going to add in my pen pasta and I'm going to allow this to boil for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to take out the pasta, drain the pasta out and be sure to keep the pasta water guys, do not throw the pasta water. Now in the pan, you're going to add in some oil, allow that to heat up after which you're going to saute some onions just like you can see me do. Next, you're going to go in with the sausages or you can use bacon. If you have bacon at home, you can use bacon. Just go ahead, fry that in the onion and then you're going to proceed to adding in the fresh tomatoes. I use just about two fresh tomatoes for this recipe, so you don't want to use more than two tomatoes. You don't need so much tomatoes for this recipe, okay? Now go in with that soya. You can see the soya and the soya spice or pepper on it. Just go ahead and give it a good mix. Allow the other ingredients to soak up the flavor of the soya. I had to go in with some vegetable oil because I noticed my pot was a little bit dry. I'm going to give that a good stir and then I'm going to proceed to adding in some of the pasta water. Just add in a drizzle of the pasta water to allow everything to cook nicely. After which I'm going to add in some fresh pepper. I added in fresh pepper but it's absolutely optional. If you're not a pepper person, you can always keep that step. Proceed to adding in the um, white pepper and the kankang or soya spice at this point adding some garlic adding some um, freshly chopped parsley adding some seasoning and salt and then give that a very good mix to allow everything to cook nicely guys the flavor from this part is it's going to wake your neighbors up it's going to cause confusion in your community it's so so flavorful after letting the other ingredients simmer for a few minutes i had to go in with the coconut milk at this point and this just soak the dish about 10 notches up guys the flavor from this coconut combined with the flavor from the soya and all the other ingredients just give this dish a very very yummy yummy flavor now you are going to go ahead and allow that coconut milk to boil until it's thickened slightly thickened after which you're going to proceed to add it in the pasta just add in the pasta give that a very very good mix until all everything is well combined and you know well incorporated okay I want to say a very big welcome to all my new subscribers on this channel you guys are highly welcome thanks for joining the family don't forget to feel free leave your comments in the comments if you have any questions you can always ask and i'm going to be glad to give you a good response okay now if you are an oldie on this channel always coming to watch my videos i want to say a very very big thank you to you thank you guys for supporting my channel this channel will not be what it is without you guys okay thank you so much if you are just stumbling on my video for the first time i want to say a very big thank you for clicking on this video please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below before you leave click the like button on this video if you like this video as well and join this family so that you will continue to enjoy all the deliciousness coming from these secrets okay
now you can see that everything has been properly combined i'm just going to add in some mozzarella cheese at this point because i want to but you can skip this step if you don't want to use cheese in the recipe okay it's totally fine to end at the coconut milk but i added in the mozzarella cheese just because i wanted some extra creaminess and you know some lushness to the dish so i had to add in some mozzarella cheese and then allow that to sit and cook up until it's ready and then the dish is good so you can see how creamy this looks already it's so creamy it's so flavorful it's so so yummy i bet you want to try this dish and i know that you definitely want to have this dish on your christmas menu for a change for a difference stop eating for every christmas try this recipe and tell me how it goes okay thanks for watching this video hope you liked this video hope you're going to share this video if you do try this at home please don't forget to give me your feedback i'll be glad to hear from you guys and also if you are new on my channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also you guys please click the like button on this video so that i can know which contents to film for you guys subsequently thanks again for watching this video merry christmas and happy new year to all my amazing subscribers in advance and i'll see you guys in my next video love you all and remain blessed bye